Okay, good morning. It's about 41 right now. A little cool, but it is such a relief after what's been going on with these really cold temperatures here. I had to stop exercising outside. I'm back outside and it's nice to get out in the sun here. But today I'm flying the caravan, repositioning it down to Tampa. It's going to be a four and a half hour flight. I've got to catch a 645 Southwest flight back, uh, then get a taxi over to the hangar, get my car. Weather should be good. Right now it's supposed to be overcast and cloudy, but it's clear. So let's hope it stays that way for a while. Nope, no more coffee. I've already had one cup. I'm hoping to make this flight non-stop. Oh yeah, gotta push it, gotta push it. Actually that ought to do it, yeah. Just, just, just the chips and the sandwich and that's it. Went ahead and picked up some lunch since we're gonna be flying for four and a half hours. Get hungry. Well, looks like the clouds have rolled in. It's not sunny anymore. Time to go. Let's get out of here. Doors closed and locked. Dust locks removed. Spirit Tower Caravan, November 1, Quebec. He's ready to 6 right. This one, Quebec, Spirit Tower, turn left. Heading 210, runway 26 right, clear for takeoff. Left turn to 210 and 26 right, cleared for takeoff, uh, 1 Quebec. Hey, we're clear left and right. So welcome back to turn left heading 210, come back to set west departure. Left 210, going to departure, welcome back. St. Louis departure, caravan over 1 Quebec is out of 1.2 for 2.5. Caravan 1 Quebec, departure radar contact, turn left heading 130 and climb and maintain 5,000. Left to 130, climb and maintain 5,000 for 1 Quebec. November 6, Charlie Delta, descend and maintain 2,300. Down 2.36, Charlie Delta. November 1, Quebec, proceed direct to Charlie Tango Yankee. Direct to Charlie Tango Yankee, 1, Quebec. Cardinal 643, turn left, heading 070. Delta has field sight. Charlie Delta, clear visual approach, runway 26 left, contact Spirit Tower 124.75. Clear visual 26 left, over to Tower 6, Charlie Delta, good day. November 643, flight in 030. Cardinal 643, you're about let's see, 5 miles from Othir, turn left heading 0310, maintain 2100 until established on the final, cleared RNAV, runway 29 approach. River down there, lots of ice on it. American A35, contact Kansas City Center 132.65. Set up at cruise. At 7,000 feet, our indicated airspeed is 153 knots. Our true airspeed is 170. Delta 295. Our ground City speed Center. is 166. Our cruise power setting, we've set it at uh, 1,835 pounds of torque. Well, good morning. No, it's not good morning. It's afternoon now. I've been flying for gosh, about three hours. Looks like I've got about an hour and 40 minutes to go. Behind you. Uh, six one, thank you. They're still good in Tampa, so that's not an issue. Uh, that overcast in the St. Louis area, we flew out of that. It's actually very nice here. Very nice. 
Temperature outside is plus three degrees C. Well, that's about 38 Fahrenheit. It is cold outside, but uh, very comfortable in here. What can I say? Had my lunch, bought a Subway sandwich along the way. Long flight repositioning down uh, for a water now. The uh, owner is going to use the airplane at uh, do a little island hopping down in the Bahamas. That's his plan. I'm going to head right back on the airlines on Southwest again. You guys ask about all the airline flying and that a waste of money and stuff like that. Actually, we do it because it saves money. Hotels are expensive. Meals are expensive. The other pilot gets a day rate, and that adds up real fast. And if we buy the tickets ahead of time, they're not that expensive. And the thing about Southwest is we yeah, can always cancel. Five, six, six, six last minute and use that uh, those funds for another ticket. Another thing I get is uh, uh, questions about Mike. Why Mike never flies in the left seat? Mike only flies in the uh, Citation XLS. And the reason he only flies in that aircraft is because uh, the Caravan is single pilot. We don't need another pilot for that. The uh, Citation M2, I'm single pilot qualified, so we don't need another pilot. Sometimes we have another pilot when we've got something odd going on. Uh, where we're meeting another airplane and the other guy's going to back or uh, for currency or something like that or to fly with the owner who's typed in the air. So Mike basically is semi-retired. He just wants to make a little extra money and have to do in retirement. I mean, he's very competent. Uh, he could easily fly his PIC in that airplane. If he wanted to give typed, we would get him typed. Uh, but he just doesn't want to deal with the hassle of the paperwork, setting everything up and uh, having to come into the office and stuff like that. And I don't blame him. If I was in that position, I'd be the same way. You know, he flew for the airlines, flew for the Air Force, all that stuff, and uh, now he's just having fun. Actually, it's a great part-time job. You can always tell who the flight pilot is because he'll be the one that's manipulating the book, and the other pilot, the non-flying pilot, will be doing the radios. One thing I get questions about all the time is, let's say I'm flying the airplane. My hand is on the yoke. Mike is the non-flying pilot, and people will notice him uh, putting his hand up on the yoke. He's not guarding the yoke. What he's doing is these aircraft have the push-to-talk button built into the November yoke. November 1, Quebec. Contact Jacksonville Center 125.75. 2575, 1, Quebec. Center, Caravan, November 1, Quebec at 900,000. Number 0, Victor. Mike, stand by one. You're on top of 10 to 30. Let me give him a call. Stand by. And please, Cronus 94, you were checking in. Number one, Quebec was checking in nine or south. Number one, uh, Quebec, Jack Center, Roger. Good afternoon. The Albany Alpha number three zero two eight. Good afternoon, three zero two eight for one Quebec. What he's actually doing is he's got his hand up there with his finger so he could do the push to talk uh, and do the radio. Uh, Current ninety four, Jack Center, Roger. Good afternoon. Flight flight maintain. Flight level one eight zero. Notice that he's got his hand up. He's not really putting any force Number on Number 930, Victor Mike, just to maintain maintain level 2 Wow, there's a, looks like a big forest fire up ahead. Yeah, something's burning real good out there. Four, Taking a lot of these uh, questions from the last video I put up, which was the caravan videos. And uh, one question was, what do we use the caravan for? Crap. It's basically, the owner's family has access to it, and I fly it. And it's basically, uh, we'll go down to the house at the lake. They got a house in Tampa. Uh, there's one in Nassau. I haven't flown it over to Nassau, but the owner will fly it over there a couple of times. Uh, and then they got family on Salina, uh, so and the continuous moderate, uh, copy family to somewhere, that kind of thing. That's 98% of what Mike this Rudd. aircraft does. Now, here's another thing people ask me about. I pointed out the uh, condition lever in the last video. There's the condition lever right there. You'll notice it's in the high idle position. What it will do is it will cut off fuel to the engine, will allow fuel to the engine, but also what it does is it sets the idle, the minimum idle. We have a min idle position, which we use on the ground, and that is to uh, help reduce brake wear, because if it sits in a higher idle position, that prop spinning out there really tends to pull the aircraft, even at idle, and we're constantly would have to apply brake to hold it back. The high idle, you set that right before takeoff, and what it does is it resets the low idle, which is normally at 52%, 65%. And that is for in-flight, uh, when you pull the power back to idle. You don't want it coming so far back that when you suddenly need power, there's a delayed spool-up time. 
A, a much faster spool up with 65% uh, idle. The one thing we did not talk about in the uh, last video was the inertial separator system. That's this big handle here. Uh, a little side view. I'm going to have to show you that uh, when it's actually deployed sometime. We use that right, when on, the temperature it. is uh, plus 5 or below and there's visible moisture. That prevents ice from forming on the screen of the intake and uh, breaking off and chucks going in the air are possibly choking off the engine. Right now we're to the south of Atlanta and towards Florida. Oh yeah, I get this a lot. Which do I prefer, flying jets or turbo props or what's my favorite airplane? 63730, I really like them both. I like the Caravan, I like the Citation M2, I like the Citation XL. My favorite airplane depends upon the mission. If it's a short hop in the St. Louis area, Caravan's fantastic. It's a great airplane, I just love it. You know, if it's a mid-distance flight with just a couple of people, Citation M2. Citation M2 is very easy to fly. It's a great single pilot airplane. And then for something longer, Citation XL. I mean, right behind you, you got snacks, sodas and stuff like that. Stand up lav. It's a very comfortable airplane, but it's heavier. It's more like you're driving a truck. Uh, the Citation M2 is really the nicest flying airplane I've ever flown. It handles, it's fantastic. It, it's a great airplane. I love the Citation M2. Really, my favorite all-time airplane that I've flown would probably be the Citation M2. My first type rating was the CJ type rating. The first time I flew a jet was single pilot. Actually, no, no. The place I worked at, uh, the chief pilot insisted that he fly with me on the first leg. I'd never flown a jet before. After that, it was like single pilot, jet, you know, everywhere. Uh, somebody told me once he thought that should be illegal flying a person in a jet. Uh, but, you know, I do it. I've got two single pilot uh, type ratings. One's in the Citation M2 and one is in the Citation Mustang. And then my other single pilot type is in the King Air 350. I'm a big King Air fan. Love King Airs, great airplanes. In fact, I'm probably a fan of most airplanes I've flown. I'll just kind of show you the panel real fast right now, I'll show you what's going on. See, 149 is what we're indicating. We're actually got a true airspeed of 171. We're at 9,000 feet. There we go. We're flying right now on a heading of 157. Let me center the heading bug. There we go. I like to keep that uh, heading bug centered just in case there's an autopilot failure or an instrument failure. Uh, you've got your initial heading that was working right there in front of you, and you can hold that heading uh, while you're trying to figure out what's going on. Number one, Quebec, after Cross City, joined Victor 35 to the ended intersection. And that's uh, just like it sounds, E-N-D, E-D, correct answer. Okay, November uh, 1, Quebec, we are cleared after Cross City, Victor 35 to the ended intersection. Echo November Delta, Echo Delta, and uh, then to Tampa for uh, 1, Quebec. Yes, sir, we back correct, thank you. Let's see what we got here. Chronos 94, traffic 2 o'clock, 5 miles southeast, eastbound, uh, about a 100 heading, flight level 190, say TBM. 01 Quebec and 0 Golf Julian, traffic 12 o'clock, 5 miles northwestbound at 10,000, twin Cessna, eastbound, flight level 9, or excuse me, east, southeastbound 9,000, Cessna 208. Here we got uh, 12 o'clock traffic, he lives a thousand feet above us. There he is right there on the TCAS. I'm looking for him. Just now past this. Never saw him. Just Go off your uh, 8 o'clock now a mile southeast, not that's the boy. Jackson, right there. Back center, Navajo 730. Front 94, Roger. Break. November 4057, Charlie Roger. Jackson, Roger, thank you. Number 310 Golf Juliet, contact Atlanta approach 125.5. See you later. Okay, another question I get is, uh, what's it like flying the caravan? Is it like a big Cessna? Absolutely. Uh, easy flying airplane, and it's like a Cessna 172 on steroids. It does take a little more management of the systems with the Gorman 1000, the autopilot, and uh, the turbo. Number four. I appreciate every one of you guys. I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate my Patreons who are so generous. I try to answer all sorts of stuff, but I do get 
uh, busy spurts where I can't answer everything. I miss messages and stuff like that. I apologize for that. Now for approach, Caravan November 1, Quebec, 5,000 with India. Caravan November 1, Quebec, Tampa approach, Roger, i steering landing at Tampa International. That's affirmative, uh, we're going to signature there. All right, you have ADIS uh, India, we have runway 19 right, runway 28 available, uh, wind is calm. About 28, and uh, I do have India for 1, Quebec. Why right, we can plan that for 28 for November 1, Quebec, fly heading a 140. Plan on 28, 140 on the heading for uh, 1, Quebec. And departure United 658 out of 1.3 for 6,000. Yeah, 658 Tampa departure, radar contact. Climb and maintain 12,000. Up to 1, 2, 12, 000, United 658. November 07, Quebec, County Tampa approach again on a 119er point niner. Delta 2582, contact departure. Contact departure, Delta 2582. Good day. Good day. Giant 3067 heavy with you, uh, 19 right. Giant 3067 heavy, Tampa Tower, runway 19 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 19 right, Giant 3067 heavy. Left to enable, contact ground point seven. Left one one seven, welcome back to I've got the airplane all buttoned up. I'm just gonna leave it him for him to pick up when he wants it. Heading to the airport now. <laughs> Not heading to the airport, heading to the airline terminal. Yeah. <laughs> He'll just use it as he needs it. But the funny thing is, he's got the M2 down here at the same time. Yes, he does. Southwest. Southwest, alright. Anywhere you want to drop me off is good. Alright, thanks. I appreciate it. You do. You're welcome. Let me grab this stuff. Oh, you need to look for that. 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 I'm going to try to get something to eat real fast. We've got a 45 minute connection to Houston, so that's going to be a little too tight to get something to eat. But uh, I think I can get something here. I got 50 minutes. Dinner was good, but fast. Had a Cuban sandwich. Got a few minutes for the flight. I'm going to see if I can't put a little charge on this phone. Okay, they're starting to board. I got to go. Tampa to Houston. Now Houston to St. Louis, getting in at about 10.55. Then a taxi over to the hangar, drive home. Well, he got a couple more hours to go. Yeah, yeah. Well, I tell you what, everybody on that last plane was hacking and coughing. I mean, it was awful. I think half the people on that airplane were sick. Probably with the flu. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the likes and comments. And if you made it this far, you need to subscribe. That way you'll find out about future videos coming out. And if you want to buy me a cup of coffee, you can always toss a buck in my Patreon. I appreciate everything. You guys keep the blue side up, the brown side down, and fly safe. And as always, be good.